Hello everyone. In this lesson, I will cover two variable regression analysis. By the end of this lesson, you will learn the concepts of the two variable regression analysis. In an econometric model, we are interested in using the known values of the independent variables in order to estimate or predict the mean of the dependent variable. Therefore, our expectation is to estimate the dependent variable with the known values of the independent variables. So we normally represent it as this, where it reads the expectation of y given the values of x. This expectation of y given the values of x is functionally related to x. And so the notation reads the expected value of y given the values of x is a function of the values of the independent variables, which is x. This is usually called conditional expectation function or population regression function. Now, if population regression function is a linear function of x, then we can write an econometric model of this form where we have expected value of y given x equals beta 1 plus beta 2 xi, in which case beta 1 and beta 2 are simply referred to as regression coefficients, and they represent the intercept and slope coefficients respectively. Let us also look at the concept of linearity. We have linearity in the variables. This means that the expected value of y given the values of x is a linear function of x. So for example, a model like this is non-linear in the variables since one of the variables, which is x, is raised to the power of 2. This model is also non-linear in the variables since we have the square root of the x variable and the square root of the x variable is the same as x raised to the power of half. This model is linear in the variables since x is raised only to the power of 1. The next linearity is linearity in the parameters. So here, we are simply stating that the expected value of y given the values of x is a linear function of the parameters in the model. So for example, this model happens to be non-linear in parameters since beta 2 is raised to the power of 2. This model is also non-linear in the parameters because beta 1 is raised to the power of 3 and beta 2, we have also taken the cube root of beta 2. But this model is linear in the parameters because beta 1 and beta 2 are raised to the power of 1. So linearity in the parameters is the preferred choice for regression analysis. Linear regression simply means linear in the parameters although it may or may not be linear in the independent variables. Concerning the stochastic specification of the population regression function, for a given population y, we estimate the expected value of this y given the values of x. This is also called the mean of y, or we simply refer to it as estimated y or predicted value of y. So deviation around this expected value or the mean of y is simply the difference between the actual population y and the one which we estimated expected value of y given the values of x. Now the difference between the actual y and the estimated y is the error term. And so we can just simply make the actual population y the subject and that would be equal to the estimated y plus the error term. This ui is called the stochastic error or disturbance terms. The word stochastic just simply means random. So error terms are random behavior and very difficult to determine. So this error term part of the model is referred to as the non-systematic component because this is the part that does not really determine the behavior of the population y. However, the estimated y is called the systematic or deterministic component because this is the part of the econometric model which determines the behavior of the population y. Now let us look at sample regression function. It is usually very difficult to work with the population because data on the entire population may not be available. So we end up working with a sample. Now samples are seen to be best approximations to the population. So let us develop the concept of sample regression function, which is of this form, where y i with the accent on top is referred to as y hat or y cap. 
This is an estimator of the actual population Y. The beta 1 hat is also an estimator of the population beta 1, and the beta 2 hat is an estimator of the population parameter beta 2. The stochastic form of the sample regression function is defined as the actual population Y equals beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi plus ui hat. The beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi is simply the estimated yi hat. Now, at this point, we adopt another term for the unobserved factors or the error term, which we refer to as residual term. So our primary aim is to estimate the population regression function using the sample regression function because our analysis is based on a sample from a given population. In the next lesson, we shall discuss the method of ordinary least squares used in estimating these parameters in an econometric model.